children welcome back in the last video already we have learned what is food and what is the importance of the food why do we eat the food and what are the sources of the food these all things we have learned then this uh, today in this video we are learning about the uh, very brief in detail what is the importance of the food then what is the importance of the food as uh, already we have discussed in the last video the importance of the food if we do not eat the food we are not at all going to get the energy then how we are eating the food whenever we want we cannot eat the food whenever i remember that i, sh I should go now and i should eat I we cannot eat and whenever um, we have a systematic manner to eat the food if uh, if i fail to eat these many fruits at a time it's not possible if i fail to eat these many food or meals at a time it's not possible then we have a systematic timetable for eating the food then even it has got a most importance in eating systematically because we must eat food very systematically we cannot eat however we want in whichever time irregularly we cannot eat then how it should be morning we will take the breakfast breakfast means it should be of lot many of nutrients and which give us the energy very easily and very fast so for that we call this one as a breakfast we never miss the breakfast see children uh, as soon as you get up you when you get ready for the school you may drink the milk but soon after drinking milk you have to eat breakfast also never eat breakfast in the school because after going to school and reaching school if you start eating the breakfast by that time the time will be around 11 or 11 30 we should not eat breakfast that much late time breakfast should be eaten within 7 30 or uh, within 7 30 to 8 30 or 9 o'clock before because as soon as we get up all food will be digested whole night as soon as we get up in the morning we have to do all our uh, activities bathing brushing like this and after that we have to take breakfast because our body has uh, digested all the food nothing is there in our stomach so we have to eat the food because we need morning food energetic food to perform the whole day we have to perform uh, so many activities now so because of that we have to take breakfast without fail we should not miss the breakfast and never eat breakfast in the school of course you can eat breakfast in the school but before that you, sh you should be eaten in the house also okay don't uh, make very delay and don't uh, come with an empty stomach to school and in the school if you eat it will you will get acidity or you will not get a proper energy okay so we should not miss the breakfast breakfast should be eaten without in any condition we have to get up early and we have to get ready and then we should eat a very healthy breakfast then lunch lunch you know that when we are eating lunch in the afternoon there will be a lunch break you say that when there is a lunch period isn't it so when the lunch break is there in, in the school we know that how you have to eat you will go for a uh, washroom first and you will wash your hands very neatly and cleanly and then you will come and eat the lunch when well, the food we eat in the afternoon for that we call as a lunch even if we eat the breakfast we should not miss the breakfast similarly we, we should not miss the lunch also because whatever we have eaten in the breakfast by the lunch time that has given all the energy and we lost almost all the energy in the lunch time then in the lunch time also we have to eat the food okay then what is lunch the food we eaten we are eating in the afternoon time is called as the lunch if we miss the lunch again we will not do any uh, we will not sit uh, very actively in the next periods okay after lunch again you will be having three or four periods no then for that period also you should be very energetic and interesting no then if you eat if you do not eat the lunch we are going to lose the energy and the interest so we should not miss lunch also then last one is dinner you know that dinner because you will go for some parties family parties and uh, some other uh, uh, party with your uh, uh, family members or friends isn't it usually night you will go for a hotel you will do party and you will eat nice food 
that is called as a dinner. Dinner means the food we eat in the night before we sleeping. Even we have to take a proper food without missing we have to eat the dinner also because again the whole night the body has to digest isn't it body has to create its energy then if we eat the, uh, the proper food then we are going to get energy in the morning also then we should not uh, miss the dinner so these are the three types or these are the three systematic way of eating food that is breakfast lunch and the dinner then by this we are simply telling, telling, telling that we have to eat this, we have to eat that and we have to eat it in this much systematic manner. And even we know that the source of the food we get from the plants and the uh, uh, animals, isn't it? Then from which part of the plants or which part of the animals we get the eating substances or eating part. Okay, so one by one we will see now. From the plant parts, I think you have seen the roots roots of the plant we will not eat all the roots of the plants but we will eat some types or some modified vegetables of the roots like a sweet potato and the radish and the carrot these all are coming from a root part of the plant then the stem sugar cane and the potato and the ginger and the turmeric these all are coming, these all are eating foods only, eating items only. These will come from the stem part. Then, leaf. We eat cabbage, we eat spinach, we will take a coriander, we will take a curry leaves, we will have a uh, broccoli, call, uh, sorry, um, uh, curry leaves and the coriander. These all are coming from the leaf part of the vegetable or the plant. Then, uh, flower. Flower, you will eat a gobi manchur, you know? In that gobi manchur, which flower? This flower is used. That is known as a uh, cauliflower and the broccoli. These all are the flower parts of the plant which we are eating. Not only us, even the other animals are. So you might have seen a honeybee. Honeybee is using the flower part of the plant which is, which is sucking the sweet juice from the uh, flower and which will help to make the honey. So like this, last one is seeds. Seeds. Uh, we are eating no jowar, wheat and the mustard and the till. Huh. These all are the seed part of the plant. We eat those all in our food items or we use those all in the preparing of our food. So this is how the different parts of the plants are eaten. Plant and plant products means the whole plant we will not take and the whole plant, plant we will not eat just like uh, animals. Animals will eat like that. But we are eating it like this. Roots and some parts of stem part of the some uh, plant and the leaf of the some plant and the flower of the some plant and the seeds of the some plant. Then uh, from animals what we are getting? We are taking the flesh. We, uh, we are taking the flesh and the meat and the meat and even we are getting the eggs. We are getting the eggs. And from animals even we are getting the milk. We will get milk and milk products. Milk products. What are milk products? You will eat ice cream, you will take butter, cheese. Isn't it? These all are coming under the milk products. Then this is how we are using the source of the food from plants also and from the animals also. So uh, today by this we are going to end this video but before ending you have to I will give you some homework you have to write the homework write down five animal products write down five animal products okay will you do this one Write on the five animal products. I hope you will do this homework. By this video, we are going to end this video. And in the next video, we will discuss about the next lesson. Bye-bye.